We serve in a military where if you are talented and qualified, you can go do that job. You and the audience have inherited this legacy, this expanding legacy of those tenacious people who have turned back the tide of cultural lethargy and decided to serve their nation in many different ways. The strongest thing that I, that I got, the strongest message that these women are just like us. Um, they're, they're mothers, they're, they're you know, uh, wives, sisters, uh, and they, they have the same challenges. So historically, militaries reflected the societies that supported them. And we are at the 50th year of our all-volunteer force, and our force should continue to evolve to incorporate all of the talents and demographics of America. Um, I think the experiences of the woman and their beyond first and being the first but also not being the first was really important to me. Coming as a young officer, now I won't be the first female to do a lot of these jobs and I think that's really important to understand. Together we're going to continue to push societal boundaries towards an area where beyond first, there are no, be no more firsts or only, just professional military ready to get after the needs of the nation with highly talented, diverse, and capable people before us, beside us, and behind us. So I'm pretty excited to be here. Thank you so much.